Hello everybody. Today let's explore this GMC Denali. Uh, that's a 2007. Now, this is an Envoy obviously, but uh, but it's a Denali. And if we know everything from modern time, you know, GMC always been kind of a, a runner-up to Escalade or to Cadillac, I should say. And they always kind of position themselves, you know, just, just a ring below a Cadillac. And the whole Denali trim, you know, it's pretty popular. I mean, I see a ton of GMC trucks and, uh, I mean, I shouldn't say I see a ton, but I do see a decent amount. And out of those, a good chunk is a Denali. So people are splurging on the latest and greatest from GMC. Although, as I mentioned in some previous videos, I don't really see the whole professional grade thing. I do see a, a nicely equipped vehicle that <laughs> they can reach like 80 to 90 grand because these days Escalades can reach over 100 grand. So they are out there. You know, but regardless of whether or not the marketing kind of gets me or do I, if I get the marketing, I am interested in these vehicles. So here's a 2007. Um, let's explore so first of all i noticed the gmc denali has the you know the the bullet hole the professional mesh grade here which is not metal it's plastic i could probably break it with my finger if i push hard enough on it definitely uh not the strongest material but it does look better i guess than the standard non-denali nice clear headlights you do have these washers which i kind of like uh, I mean, the overall look, it's nice. Everything is kind of monochrome. Not a whole lot of black plastic. Everything is kind of body color. Got these older style GMC center caps. Okay. Got these running boards, which do kind of make this thing sink to the floor quite a bit. So you don't get a whole lot of clearance with this. So if you're thinking you can take out this Envoy on the trails, you'll probably bottom out from or break those things the first. All right, nice cover for the the tow hitch. Let's see, does this work? Yep. Look at that. I did. I do like, and I always like vehicles that have the separate glass uh, from uh, from the rest of this, because as you can see, wow, it's close. All right. So, all right, floor mat. That's you don't see a lot of those. Although the floor mat doesn't really cover a whole lot. All right, cargo net, nice. And then the locking mechanism, the latching is actually here. So this was pre-days of automated stuff that would close. So you have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. That doesn't, that, that doesn't close now. All right, so maybe the quality suffered. All right, well, sorry, can't do much with that. Um, all right. So it's interesting how in this case, I don't see a whole lot of rust. So that's not bad. Yeah, well, well I got the drain hole here. Um, yeah, so it does look sharp. Nah, I don't mind. I don't mind how it looks. Yep. Let's jump inside. And this is where the Denali really shines. Okay, so you have the Denali, which they're putting out there as, you know, to this day, is almost like a separate brand, which I never really understand. But once again, I'm not the target audience. So what do you have here so this does feel kind of upscale you got the plastic wood this is vinyl but it's stitched i think for real i always like these uh two stage heating elements there for the whole seat or for the back i feel like i would enjoy that if my car had gave me those options my memory nice oh the easy return feature it does work you have lumbar you have nice nice comfy heated seats very cushy all right so let's see what does make this denali into a denali uh, let's see can i be able to turn this uh, all righty well kind of sort of there you go all right so denali how did they denalify it oh wow the washer worked i heard the little bzzz. okay oh it works all right so I mean, these controls are a bit cheap, but you know, they work. At least the washer works. I'm surprised that without keys that they work. All right, so Denali, you have the wood steering wheel with these little 
metal clips surrounding it and oh and on the bottom too nice these things were always kind of cryptic for me these little controls but hey they gave you a lot of gauges and you could have a lot of more a lot more information there all right nice solid clicks you know all your steering wheel controls here nice cruise control i guess because they already had too many buttons here they decided to stick this there for years normal key pre-push button look at this it even has the nav which i doubt would work uh okay well you do get the clock so yeah these things were kind of not too good but hey latest and greatest technology right climate control nice the dual side i mean i am having nostalgia moments i'm surprised a lot of these buttons are not erased so somebody did take good care of it and according to this it's got 130,000 miles so not a ton but you know not not too few either factory sunroof nice yep all your controls here now a lot of this <laughs> a lot of this stuff is kind of weird shapes and sizes like why is this so beefy but but it's nice you know i'm having fun exploring this here you go you got your onstar i mean i could see people signing up for onstar back then a lot more than they are now with smartphones well the door just flew out a little but you know nonetheless it's there you have lights they work very comfy seats yeah like i'm sinking right in there i don't know is that a blank button or just a weird placement of some sort of a screw oh look adjustable pedals too they do work as well so very nice now this is obviously not the current year where you have so many more toys to play with but think about it this way you know back in 2007 this was high class look at this too <laughs> come on there are cell phone screens that are bigger than this actually let's compare let's compare yeah i mean i know the the galaxy note is a bit smaller but it's wider it's wider than the screen so i think if you put it side by side you know inch for inch it's probably the same that's nice that's classy Oh, plus you have these little extra lights here. Look. So whoever had this probably took very good care of it. Because everything is still here. You have the rear climate control here too. So cup holders. Yeah. No armrest that pulls out here. And this, this seat is kind of like a, a solid bench. So, hey, you know what? Look, they even have a sheepskin type of cover. For all it's worth, I mean, some of this stuff is cheap, like how this switch is all like tacked on after the fact. But I like this stuff. The fact that this vehicle is here, I mean, it's nice looking. I don't know about its mechanical uh, prowess or not. <laughs> how is it all holding up together? But all I know is it's a good looking Dinawi. I'm not going to show you the engine. Uh, there's not a whole lot of fun in there. It's just a. Uh, from from the era so all right everybody here's your denali we'll see you